This is the Music History Today podcast for September 2nd. On today's show, the Hall of Fame opens, the King of Pop sets a record, and Garth releases a mega smash. First up, though, on this date in 1922, the German national anthem was adopted by the country of Germany. In 1931, Bing Crosby debuted on the radio as a solo artist. In 1972, Rod Stewart snagged his first number one single with the song You Wear It Well. In 1976, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five became the first rap group to have a gig in a theater. The theater was the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem, New York. In 1978, George Harrison married record label marketer Olivia Arias. In 1978, same day, Gloria Estefan married musician Emilio Estefan. In 1982, Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones lost his house in a fire. In 1986, Debbie Gibson signed a record deal with Atlantic Records. In 1987, Sonny Bono announced that he was running for mayor of Palm Springs, California. He won that election. In 1988, the Amnesty International Human Rights Now Tour started. In 1995, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum officially opened in Cleveland, Ohio. Also on that same exact day, Michael Jackson became the first artist to have a single hit number one on Billboard Singles Chart in its first week when the song You Are Not Alone debuted at number one. In 2000, Brian Luttrell of the Backstreet Boys married actress Leanne Wallace. In 2006, singer Sam Waters of the group Color Me Bad married singer Tamara Gray of American Idol fame. In 2008, a riot ensued in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the Republican National Convention after police blocked Rage Against the Machine from performing outside the convention. Also in 2008, T.I. was arrested for violating his parole in Arkansas while on his way to a halfway house in Atlanta, Georgia to serve out his probation. The violation? Well, seems he went to Atlanta in a luxury SUV, which I guess was a little too luxurious to whoever gave him the parole conditions, which seems like nitpicking and a little weird, but eh, whatever. In classical music, in 1960, the Second Symphony by William Walton debuted. In theater, in 1984, the revival of the musical Zorba closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 2nd, in 1993, Pearl Jam's Jeremy video won Video of the Year at the MTV Video Music Awards. The award ceremony would also be the first time that the world first heard Pearl Jam and Neil Young perform Neil's now classic song, Keep on Rockin' in the Free World. Pearl Jam wouldn't make another music video again until Do the Evolution in 1998, whose anime was done by famed animator and creator of the graphic novel Spawn, Mr. Todd McFarlane. Albums that were released on September 2nd include in 1965 when Brenda Lee released Too Many Rivers. In 1977, Van de Graaff released The Quiet Zone, The Pleasure Dome, and Thin Lizzy released Bad Reputation. In 1980, The Dead Kennedys released Fresh Fruit for Rotting Vegetables. In 1981, Teddy Pendergrass released It's Time for Love, and Ronnie Wood released 1, 2, 3, 4. In 1983, The Moody Blues released The Present. In 1985, Billy Joel released his Greatest Hits Volumes 1 and 2 albums, 1973 to 1985. And also on that same day, UB40 released Baggeritum. In 1986, Jeffrey Osborne released Emotional. In 1991, Level 42 released Guaranteed. David Bowie and Tin Machine released Tin Machine 2. And Garth Brooks released his mega breakthrough album, Rope in the Wind. In 1992, Zard released Hold Me. In 1993, Sepultura released Chaos AD. In 1996, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, or OMD if you will, released Universal. Nana Cherry released Man and the Blood Divine released Awaken. In 1997, Genesis released Calling All Stations. Joe Jackson released Heaven and Hell. 
In 1999, Amon Amarth released The Avenger. In 2003, The Innocence Mission released Befriended. In 2013, Brian Adams released Brian Adams Live at Sydney Opera House. And in 2014, The Counting Crows released Somewhere Under Wonderland. Singles that were released in the UK on September 2nd include in 1966 when Marvin Gaye released Little Darling and the Supremes released You Can't Hurry Love. Meanwhile in America, in 1957, the Crickets released That'll Be the Day and the Everly Brothers released Wake Up Little Susie. In 1964, Marvin Gaye released Baby Don't You Do It. In 1967, the Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released Dandelion and We Love You. In 1968, The Birds released I Am a Pilgrim. In 1981, Prince released his hit, Controversy. In 1986, Peter Gabriel released In Your Eyes. And in 1989, Tina Turner released The Best. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 2nd include DJ Zed, Spencer Smith of Panic at the Disco, keyboardist Billy Preston, Steve Piccaro of the group Toto, singer Tony Thompson of the group High Five, Dino Cazares of Fear Factory, rapper Patrick Cloud, Rapper and comedian Cat Williams, singer Selena Johnson, singer Sidney Renee, Peppa of Salt and Peppa, film composer Hugo Montenegro, Jerry Augustiniak of the group 10,000 Maniacs, composer John Zorn, singer Madeline Bailey, Mick Kaminsky of the group ELO or Electric Light Orchestra, Fritz McIntyre of Simply Red. Marty Greb of the Buckinghams, singer Bobby Dickey, a.k.a. Bobby Purify of James and Bobby Purify, Sam Rivers of Limp Biscuit, Sam Gooden of The Impressions, Casey of Casey and JoJo, musician Ramiro Munoz, singer Joe Simon, Rosalind Ashford of Martha and the Vandellas, singer Jimmy Clanton, pianist Russ Conway, Michael Rother of Kraftwerk and also the group New, Jazz guitarist Steve Mazakowski, Paul Deacon of the Mavericks, band leader and drummer Sherry Mariscal, actor and also guitarist for the group Dog Star, Mr. Keanu Reeves, session pianist Mick Pine, jazz percussionist Emil Richards, jazz pianist Walter Davis Jr., saxophonist Clifford Jordan, jazz pianist Horace Silver, guitarist Lorindo Almeida, Film composer Armando Trovajoli, jazz bassist Gretchen Moncour II, blues pianist Booker T. Laurie, trumpet player Frank Galbraith, trumpet player Phil Napoleon, and vaudeville singer Edith Wilson. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 2nd include composer Arthur St. Leon, who passed away in 1870 at the age of 48. Composer Ferdinand Prager passed away in 1891 at the age of 76. Pianist Walter McFerrin passed away in 1905 at the age of 79. Violinist Russ Colombo was accidentally shot while looking at a vintage gun in 1934. He was 26 years old at the time. Opera singer Greet Coleman passed away in 1961 at the age of 54. Composer William Denny passed away in 1980 at the age of 70. Composer Philip Radcliffe passed away in 1986 at the age of 81. Composer Vaclav Neumann passed away in 1995 at the age of 74. Saxophonist Jay Migliori passed away in 2001 at the age of 70. Bassist Bruce Wabel for Greg Allman and also Firehouse committed suicide in 2003 at the age of 45. 
Songwriter and producer Billy Davis passed away in 2004 at the age of 72. Saxophonist Dewey Redman passed away in 2006 at the age of 75. Pianist Carl Engel passed away in 2007 at the age of 83. Songwriter and guitarist for the group The Four Pennies, David Fritz Fryer passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2007 at the age of 62. The keyboardist for Elton John's backup band, Guy Babylon, passed away in 2009 at the age of 52. Guitarist Mark Abrahamian of the group Starship passed away from heart issues in 2012 at the age of 46. Guitarist Sila Godoy passed away in 2014 at the age of 94. Donnie Kahn of the group The Playmates passed away in 2015 at the age of 85. Guitarist Dave Lubeck of the group Molly Hatchet passed away in 2017 at the age of 66. Pianist Conway Savage of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds passed away from a brain tumor in 2018 at the age of 58. Ian Mitchell of the group The Bay City Rollers passed away in 2020 at the age of 62. And film composer Mikis Theodorakis passed away in 2021 at the age of 96. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 3rd when in 1982, Steve Jobs' partner Steve Wozniak threw his own music festival. <laughs> 